3,360 pounds, little 21 foot no slide tandem axle Amerilite came in on trade here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a handyman special. It's had some historical leaks. It needs uh, a serious amount of cleaning, but below all that, I think there is something here that could make a decent starter camper. Handyman special. <laughs> So theoretically, this would be a walk around front bed, carpetless, ventless flooring, little couples basic or starter camper, something like that. Um, it's, it's seen better days, but it's not dead. Like I've seen worse, but it definitely needs some work. We're not gonna, I, I'm not gonna dress it up with flowery language. Uh, let's get, let's just get into it, I guess. Uh, we've got a historical leak up here, you can see above the roof panels. Now, they went through and they put in their own like interior surround sound speaker system here, but you can see the waviness on that uh, roof line right there. There has been some water through that roof panel right there, and it looks like it kind of bled down that piece of trim and down the floor. Maybe some kind of little seam failure around this window here. Overall, the floor feels pretty solid, but it is definitely discolored. Like I said, it needs a severe cleaning. It needs a severe cleaning, for sure. Um, normally, when you see a mattress like this in a uh, in the bag still, it indicates it's brand new, but it almost looks like the, the plastic was left on the mattress and they slept on that because the bag portion of it is kind of roughed up. So either that or this was some old mattress that we just had laying around in a barn somewhere and threw into it, in which case, great, it is brand new, but I don't know which way is accurate uh, at the time of this filming. Um, spinning us around here, good campsite window coverage is a nice thing, and you can get some good airflow going. Now, anywhere you see a window, there's a, uh, you know, a sister opposing window, and you can see a privacy curtain there if you want to close off the front bedroom, and the camera's losing a little bit of focus. There she goes. She's coming back. Four person dinette over here could fold down into a guest sleeper. There's some storage below it. Once again, no floor vents or anything like that. It would be an easy cleaning camper. It just doesn't look like uh, it was easily not cleaned. I'll just, <laughs> I'll, we'll just, we'll say that. Now, uh, this is a no oven model, which most of these were very basic, simple series camper. Most people don't use ovens anyway. I know there's some, there's some people say, man, I need my biscuits in the morning. That's fine. Um, this just wouldn't be the right camper for you. Closet right by the door, right when you walk in. And the bathroom here had something that made me laugh. Either these folks were fan of the University of Michigan, or they were not fans of U of M, and they enjoyed the idea of going to the bathroom on Michigan. I'm not really sure exactly what the indicator here might be. Kind of like you saw above the bed, there has been a spot of water penetration in that rear corner but everything it looks like if they found a leak they tried to take care of it right away but this rv has never known as far as i can see proactive care and upkeep it has only ever seen reactive care and upkeep so all that being said as far as i know at the time of this filming uh i believe it's in good working order now that being said i have not personally checked out this camper so what i would recommend I would give our team a call. If it looks like something that could work for you, if the money was right, we'll pull it up to the building, plug it in, hook it up, and let you see what works, what doesn't. Make sure you know exactly what you're getting into before you put pen to paper. It is nice they added a Max Air vent cover over that rear bathroom vent. You can see that kind of peeking up over the top there. The spare tire doesn't look like it's seen the light of day. It's just got the original slip cover on it. That is a power awning, by the way. I tell you, they put <laughs> the biggest one on it they possibly could. It goes from the rear wall all the way up to the front where the nose tapers down. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Obviously, we're willing to shoot you straight here at Halo RV. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. Although today, there is a fair amount of sunshine coming out, which I'm thankful for. So, uh, again, give our team a call. We'll pull it up to the building. We'll get it hooked up. We'll let you see what works, what doesn't. And we'll go from there. We'll let you make the decisions. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.